Hey everybody, this is Doug. In this video, I want to talk to you about saving, sharing, and collaborating in Analysis Workspace. Now, once you've created your project and you've put all the tables and visualizations in there and you've used all the dimensions and metrics and segments that you want and you've just done everything to make this perfect, you may not only want to save it for yourself, but you may want to share it with somebody else who's just going to look at that data and be informed by it, or you may want to collaborate with people on this project. So for yourself, it's really easy. You're just going to go over to project and hit save. Of course, you can do command S and do all those keyboard shortcuts, but you can do save, save as. You can even save as a template so that when others create a new project, they can actually start with that and so they click on new and they can see it in custom templates here. So in any case, that's another thing you can do to save, save as a template. In addition, you could also save it as a CSV or a PDF if you just want to see the data or if you want to see all the visualizations, etc. So pretty basic if you're just saving it for yourself. So situation number two, you're going to send this to somebody and they are just going to consume that data, just going to read that data. They don't need to collaborate really on changing anything in here. Well, we're going to come back to some of these options in the menus. But first, I want to mention that before you share this with people, you want to, of course, make sure that this project is going to make sense to them. And one of the things you can do is make sure that you have really good titles for each of your tables and visualizations. So do you just want to write visits here or do you want to write something like last month's visits or visits from mobile users because we have that segment applied, et cetera. Same thing with visitors. Do you want that to be a little more descriptive in this line graph down here? Line, not so great, right? So you probably want to put something a little more descriptive in that for this line chart. And of course, even a worse example, freeform table number four, you know, you're going to want to make sure that you describe what is in there for anybody who's going to look at this data. So first and foremost, make sure you have good titles on all of your stuff there. Secondly, we can take this a step further by adding a text visualization. So if I go down here, I can drag that in and give people information. If I scroll to the top and I grab that and I drag it up here, then I can give people information about what this project is about, what this specific panel is about, because of course I could do this at the top of every panel, or I could do it really anywhere in my project. So if I want to do something about the whole project, I can say this project contains info about dot dot dot, and you know, and tell them what it's all about. Maybe I even want to personalize this a little bit and say, hey, Bob. This project contains info about, et cetera, right? <laughs> and I can also say bold, and I can say this is red because I really want Bob to know. <laughs> okay, whatever. So you have this ability to do rich text anywhere in your project. And of course, as other visualizations, I can make this the size that I need and save. So again, that's another way to make sure that people know what this data is that you're sending them. Once you've got this described well enough, then you can go over to project and you can do download CSV and PDF and save it for them. You saved it for yourself. You can also then save it for the people that you're going to send it to and then you email it to them or whatever. So you can save that and download it to your machine and send it to them. There are, however, a couple other options under share. Again, for people who are just going to be a recipient, you can do a send file now or on a schedule. So if I click on send file now, it'll open this dialog where I can choose again the CSV or the PDF and I can send it to recipients here. If I click in there, I can send it to users of this analytics solution in this company or I can even type in an email address, etc. And that will send that to them if I say send now. In addition, again, I can go to share and I can schedule that as well so that I can send my CSV or PDF on a regular basis starting on January 14th and sending, let's say, weekly every week on Sunday, ending in a year. So you can set up the schedule for these to go out anyway. 
cancel that for now. And we'll talk about situation three, which is collaboration. So if you want somebody to collaborate and to be able to come in and see this actually in the tool, there are a couple of ways you can do that. One super easy way is to go up to share and say get project link. When I click on that, it will create a custom link for this project and I can just click on copy and then I can just send that to somebody and put it in an email or whatever and say, hey, click here, it'll take you right into my project. Of course, they're gonna have to have access to this so they'll have to be able to log in in order to get to this project. But it's a great way to just have somebody jump right into your project and not even have to find it in their menu. Now, if somebody's going to be collaborating long term, then you're going to want to share it to them so that they do have it in their menu. And so in that case, you can go to share and share project. And then you can add them here as a recipient, as long as they are a member of this organization. And you can share it with them and then save that and share it. And they'll be able to get right in there and collaborate with you on this project. The last tip that I have for you is if you're going to share that with somebody and you don't want them to be confused by all of the different metrics and dimensions that you're not using, you can always curate this project data and you can add only the dimensions and the metrics and the segments, etc. that you're using in this project or that you want people to be able to have access to. However, we'll save that curation, so if you still want a copy of the project with everything in it, make a copy for yourself first, and then curate this one. Anyway, I hope that helps to show you how to save and share and collaborate in Analysis Workspace. Good luck.